Hello everybody, Contrarian Dude here, and a special kind of stupid out of Toronto recently, a yoga class was banned, banned over cultural appropriation in Canada. The decision to cancel the classes were made by the University of Ottawa's Student Federation and Varsity's Independent Student Body. Very important to note this, this is a, gr a grassroots uprising from the student level. So Jennifer Schwarf, a yoga practitioner who has offered free weekly sessions to students at the University of Ottawa since 2008, said she was shocked when she learned her free weekly classes were suspended because staff said the ancient discipline is a form of cultural appropriation. There are cultural issues of implication involved in the practice. Yoga has been under a lot of controversy lately due to how it is being practiced and which cultures those practices quote, are being taken from, i.e. that someone has stolen yoga from somebody, apparently. This was said by a staff member from the Center for Students with Disabilities. Well, at least we know they're in the right building. The email further says that because many of those cultures have experienced oppression, cultural genocide, and dysphoras due to colonialism and Western supremacy, we need to be mindful of this and how we express ourselves while practicing yoga. So this student body has ordained itself the representative of yoga. I'm quite certain they were never asked to do so, and I'm further certain they, were, they don't even belong to this demographic they're claiming to represent. Schaaf said the complaint that killed the program came from a social justice warrior with fainting heart ideologies in search of a cause, duh. Schaaf said she suggested a compromise by changing the name of the classes to mindful stretching, but she was rejected. Of course she was rejected. Why would someone drunk on their own power want to give up that power? What an absolutely moronic notion that learning things from another culture is cultural appropriation and you should feel guilty for it. You shouldn't be allowed to do it. It's nothing short of ridiculous. Should we, be, should we ban learning other languages? Should we ban learning anything about other cultures? This is insane. And if you're gonna do it, well now you have to do it universally. So that's, we don't wanna be racist here. We just wanna apply all the same rules to everybody equally, right? So sorry, non-Western cultures, you have to give back abolitionism. That was a Western idea. You've culturally appropriated it from us. Separation of church and state. Trial by jury, free of speech. You have to give it all back. That's, these, are, these are Western ideas that were culturally appropriated from us. Please give them back. We feel that we've been stolen from. Okay, so social justice warriors are morons to the nth degree. No news there. Um, where is this gonna come from? What's the background? Where does it all stem from? And I think, it's, I think it's what's really interesting and telling here is that the students in college now, came, they're the ones who were in high school, elementary school, etc., came through Common Core. And I think this goes back a much longer than that, but I would say since government took over education 150 years ago, there has been a deliberate and steady trend towards dumbing down the population. I would argue that, that, that it's their agenda. I think there's plenty of evidence to, to, to that. In fact, if you ever need evidence of that, you, you don't understand where or how that happened or why that is, please uh, just on YouTube, Google interview with Norman Dodd and G. Edward Griffin. Uh, it'll, it's a fascinating interview. It'll make perfect sense to you after that. But so for 150 years, as fast as they possibly can, I think the powers that be have dumbed down the population. Now, obviously there's limits to that. Obviously parents love their children, want the best education for their children. And you need to dumb down the students a little bit. Then they grow up, they have kids. Now the parents are a little bit dumber with lower expectations. You can dumb down the next generation a little bit more. And so the cycle continues. In addition to that, if you can make people poor, well now both mother and father have to go to work to keep the family afloat. And so now there isn't a parent at home to observe the ridiculousness that's going on in schools or to correct the mistakes by educating the child at home. So we're now at a point where things are accelerating very, very quickly where, sadly, I think on college campuses, these social justice warriors with these ridiculous causes are now the majority. They're more than happy to forbid a human being from practicing yoga. They don't see that as wrong. They, they pat themselves on the back as virtuous in this upside down world of collectivism. But this is coming to crunch time, people. You, we really have to start pushing back and pushing back hard. No matter what side of the aisle you're on, left or right, these social justice warriors must be stopped. Because we are entering a new dark ages where any kind of thought or expression is suppressed if it does not fit into the ordained narrative passed down by the powers that be. Now is the time to really, really push back and eradicate this. There is a war for your mind and your children's mind going on and it is time to get active. I don't care what side of the aisle you're on, left or right, it doesn't matter. Social justice warriors need to be pushed back and put in their place. And this concept is gonna play into my next video, 
which is all about the Black Lives Matter movement. There's a couple of protests they did and how they were handled in different ways. And uh, we're going to talk about that in our next video. So please subscribe, like this video, dislike it, comment below. Let me know if you agree or disagree. I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.